get sick. Yeah. This time, I was going to speak on deliverance oh. or kicking demons out. Ooh. And the reason they get in is yeah. I sometimes give them legal right, knowingly or unknowingly, by yeah. a person. Right. Simply taking part in reading horoscopes, taking part in yoga, yeah. association with places, and yeah. having an ungodly family tie can allow them in. But that may be something for another time. However, over the last few weeks and during conversations, mm. I felt to talk a little on prayer walking. Yeah. Tried to break into headings, but ended up with how to do it, my experience, all mean with the scripture. And some nice stuff this morning on treading on uh, whatever it was and tearing oh, down yes. strong cars, the scripture yeah. was banged on sort of thing. Yeah, so no. Even it's given my preach up, so I might as well sit down. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, I'm getting one. I have re- read a few amounts of um, things on prayer walking where people go around and give you blessings and all that. Passive, nothing wrong with that, really good. But my account is more of a fight with the enemy. Like some of the songs we've been thinking, treading on them and tearing down strongholds, that sort of thing. Yeah. I have a rubbish memory, but one scripture God laid on me years ago, when I started learning about demonology, prayer walking, etc., and it came up a few weeks ago on the 20th of February. Ephesians 6.12 mm, yeah. goes off the top of my head, we're not fighting the flesh and blood, we're fighting the strongholds. Right, yeah. um, I'll read from scripture. Yeah. Mine is, oh, sorry, the Good News Bible. It's in bits. <laughs> I've written all over it. I've highlighted things. I've had it for years. I've taken my notes from it. Um, it's, it's in bits to say lots of different things. So, good news. Yeah. So, Ephesians 6.12 for we are not fighting against human beings, but against no. the wicked spiritual forces in the heavenly world. Yeah. The rulers, authorities, and cosmic powers of this dark age. Sure. And it goes on to say, So put on God's armour now, then when the evil day comes, you will be able to risk the enemy's attacks. And after fighting to the end, you will hold your ground. Yes. Fighting to the end. Yeah. When prayer walking, I believe, you can keep on, keep on going until you see the result. Yeah. I'm, uh, yeah, uh, oh, yeah, I'm a Christian soldier, I suppose. I'm fighting, <coughs> fighting, fighting, fighting. Uh-huh. There is an invisible world which came again this morning, June 7th, 4th. A spiritual war, a spiritual world in a fight. Um, yeah, I've also got the, I mean, that in Kings you've got that where you see, where you see the, uh, the hour side of people and horse back yeah. to defend sort of thing, okay? I do like sometimes at such films as Ghostbusters, and I nearly had the taping of the Ghostbusters I thought, no, I was. And on Facebook, on Facebook, would you stay, have you ever seen it, would you stay in this haunted house? And I feel like putting a comment on this saying, yes, I'm just going to claim the blood of Jesus and we're going to get Okay? With authority. So yeah, just claim the blood. More on that in a bit. Though the film many years ago, I did find gremlins quite amusing. Have you ever seen gremlins? Quite amusing. Especially when the evil ones were swinging from the chandeliers into the river that seat. Mm-hmm. And I thought, oh, they're so close on that, how we could wrap them so close. <coughs> so when I studied deliverance, I'm talking about 20, 30 years ago, I had an imagination of what's happening in the spiritual world with its battles. With its battles. Yeah. There is a lot going on. 
Someone who knew what I was studying suggested I read This Present Darkness by Frank Rivetti. Has anyone heard that book? I couldn't find it on my bookshelf. This is the next one in the series. If you're interested in the get to spiritual stuff, if you're interested in knowing the battles that's going on in the heavens, good book. It's fiction based on faith and what we believe is fact. Okay? Fiction book based on what we believe is fact. Basically, it states that good angels cannot do battle until we, humans or mortals, pray. Um, okay? Yeah. Every prayer, a powerful weapon. So I'm yeah. speak singing. Every yeah. prayer, bring the strongholds down and down and down and down. When I read it some 30 years ago, I thought, that's how I imagined it. Okay? I imagined it before I read it. And I read it before. That's just how I thought that. It's really good book to read that is. So, walk scripture. In the author- our authority, which I spoke on last time, in the name of Jesus, because we cannot do it in our own strength, and always pray for protection when you do it, because this is front line stuff and the enemy doesn't like it. Mm. Okay? Yeah. Joshua 6, 1 to 5. Basically, those that know the story of Joshua and Jericho, yeah. told Joshua to walk around the room. No, not walk around the room. I'll go to walk around the room. But walk around Jericho yeah. for seven days. Yeah. And he walked around Jericho for seven days. Yeah. Now, I'm not saying if I walk around the room, the walls come down. But he walked around Jericho for seven days. On the seventh day, if I'm right, he was all to the bread of trumpets and all the walls came falling down. Yeah. Yeah. That has got a symbolism, I believe, in the spiritual world. Yeah. As I say, I'm not saying we'll walk around this room for seven days to build up a fort. Firstly, I believe God hasn't led me to walk this room. But we need to look at the walls of Jericho as the principalities and strongholds. How do we do it? Break them down, pull them down in the name of Jesus. The enemy strongholds, and if that applies, the enemy strongholds. It's come up before, Joshua 1 to 3. Where you put your feet, I will give you. Yeah. Mm. Okay? Yes, but I, th- I think, Miss our person, and I, and I haven't seen this come up for a long time, don't see it on the young know, talks or whatever, I think this one's more relevant. And it was in the scripture read this morning, Luke 10, 19. Yeah. Has anyone got that? Can they, can they bring that up? Because uh, there's a particular word I want to emphasize on this. I have got in my own Good News Bible, we can walk on snakes <coughs> and nothing will hurt us. For anybody watching this, I think it's going on the public domain, anybody watching that hasn't read the Bible, don't be by snakes by the go down to the local zoo and get the snake and start walking. Snakes is symbolic for the enemy, as in Genesis. Snakes, the enemy. So I've got a uh, walk in uh, the new, the good news. Um, trample, I've got, I think it was from the NIV. And King James, no, uh, to, no King James was trample, and the yeah. NIV was yeah. walk as well, I think. Yeah. And you've got a different translation. If he, uh, Luke 10 19, of the walk, trample. Yeah, you've got trampled as well. Yeah. So basically, trampling is, you know, as you go through the rambles, you're tracking down the rambles. You're walking on the enemy, symbolically. Yeah. It's symbolic, and it works. Uh, yeah, I mean, you have to be careful when you're trampling or something. You know, you see, you can put it out the spot and hold the name of Jesus. You know, you see, you. there was a, a book that I read, and the guy was saying, he was praying walking like this. Put it out the spot and hold. And the mechanic came out from under a car and sort of looked at him and said, What are you doing? <laughs> okay, so be careful. Um, how you do it? Who's seeing you? I mean, if you go walking around, that's it. Sort of thing, I think what I'm going to do. Yeah, yeah. But basically, prayer walking and I've done it in the past, but it's been dark. I wouldn't recommend doing this in the daytime. I've been doing it in the past and dark. 
during a meeting that I knew about, more on that later on. Okay. But I was going around, I stood down in the name of Jesus. The strongholds, the enemy, you are under my feet. I take you down. I guided you, I led you past through the blood of Jesus Christ. And you walk around whatever it is you want to walk down by fast. Yes, the enemy, in the name of Jesus. You are under my feet, in the name of Jesus. Through the blood of Jesus, I take you down. I come against you, in the name of Jesus. So that, I believe, is how it is the way it is done. That was very quick. I don't know how long that took me, five minutes or ten minutes, but um, if you can just whip that off for a second, thanks.